Hey guys, this is John Callum from KHO Motorsport. So tonight I'm stuck in the shop for a couple of hours waiting for coding restrictions to lift and uh, I'm just sitting here at the shop admiring so far our 4G63 Hyundai Turbo 2.3 Stroker build. Uh, from the last video, uh, this was just uh, assembled short block but now it is almost there almost uh, getting together it's going to be installed in that uh, Hyundai Coupe one thing I want to discuss in this video is to really tell you guys the major differences between an ordinary 4G63 from an Evo 4 to 8 and the uh, Hyundai Sonata 2.0 G4 JP block. There are differences in the engine casting that necessitates compromises with the uh, parts choices when assembling the engine. So right now we're focused on the timing belt side. The major majority of the differences between the Hyundai Sonata and the uh, 4G63 block from a Mitsubishi 4 to 8 is the timing side. I don't know why Hyundai decided to revise things for the Sonata. That shouldn't really be the case. Major culprit is basically the front case where the oil pump lies. Oddly enough, we are using the balancer belt for uh, 4G63 Mitsubishi, so there's no differences there. But uh, the position of this gear over here sorry it's kind of dark but this gear this is the pulley that drives the oil pump and uh, as you can see it's supposed to be here but it's mounted here uh, therefore uh, we have to use the Hyundai Sonata timing belt so we're using the old Sonata timing belt and looking at compatibility with other engines, it seems that it is a unique timing belt just for this engine. It's pretty unique and cannot be ordered uh, from my usual supplier. So I have to order it, special order it from another country. Uh, so that also necessitates using the Hyundai Sonata cam gears, these two. And of course, other uh, pulley sprockets that are in the front part of the block. The block makes it, makes it difficult. We wanted to use a 4G63 oil pump. But there are major differences on, how, uh, on the mounting surface of the oil pump. Yeah, we're stuck using the Sonata unit as described in the previous video. So we're now using the Sonata crankcase. This actually isn't bad. It's part aluminum, part steel. So perhaps this adds rigidity to the block. I don't know. Lightness, not really. Issue there with using the oil pan is that the stock turbo oil drain line will not work. So, But uh, it's a special fitting uh, specifically for custom turbo setups uh, that can be found somewhere in Lazada. And we bought that for... Uh, future project but uh, since uh, we kind of need it so we're deploying it here so we just cut the end of this OEM oil drain line just gonna put a hose somehow to link it from here to here uh, not uh, OEM grade but uh, we'll we're just doing what we can yeah but the uh, rest of the Evo stuff works on it this is an Evo 4 turbo assembly we're using the 4G63 head from the Evo 4. The head wasn't an issue. It was just the block giving us an issue uh, with the crank walk thing and also we decided to reuse the Evo 4 head. It's, uh, the cams and the valve springs are better on the Evo 4 versus the Sonata head. We just painted the valve cover blue with wrinkle paint, VHT, spray paint. We're painting the engine bay slowly slowly into the collar so that uh, it's easier to uh, when the engine's all in it's still not done yet uh, but we're getting there one major issue is the drive belts drive belts uh, running the power steering the alternator the air conditioning 
they were trying to run the Evo setup, but seems to be that the tensioner, the drive tensioner, is not compatible with the front case. This oil pump makes things a bit difficult. Uh, so we're probably going to run the Sonata drive belt setup. I'm just worried that it will not fit the engine bay, might hit chassis rails. Uh, but uh, anyway, we'll see. We'll check it out when we get there. We made sure to use the 4G63 uh, cooling equipment, water pump, this uh, coolant hose going to the thermostat cover. It just makes things uh, easier for us on the on the plumbing side to retain this. This is the thing. This is the reason why we retained the use of the 4G63 head. I just wanted to make use of this again. Uh, otherwise, we could have ran a Sonata valve cover, but we did not. Okay, you can see that uh, these are the Evo 4 intake manifold, injectors, throttle body. So it's Evo 4 stuff. No changes there. This will also work on the Sonata head. But yeah, well, progress is still going on. It's not going as fast as I would like because there's a lot of uh, head scratching things. Uh, and we are taking our time just to not make any mistakes. At least the engine is looking to be assembled. Before we end this video, this is again the timing belt side of our hybrid 4G63 engine. Um, again, we repeat that uh, the timing belt side is what makes it a bit difficult to uh, directly swap over this engine into a normal Lancer Evolution uh, 4 to 9. Uh, we're running the Sonata setup. This is the view of the drive belts. Uh, the Evo 4 has a serpentine belt setup, so all the engine accessories are driven by one long belt. In this case, one belt drives the alternator and water pump, and the other belt drives the power steering and the air conditioning. We are using the water pump for the from the Evo 4. The reason being is we needed to use the thermostat so that it's compatible with the Evo 4 head and that we don't have to do any more modifications to our coolant piping. Uh, the snout of the where the pulley is mounted on the water pump, it's too short. Uh, the Sonata sticks out more than the Evo 1. So we need to fabricate a spacer 1.6 cm thick so that uh, the water pump is aligned with the rest of the pulleys. Where the oil filter is mounted, is screwed on, it's a different design than the Evo. It's uh, mounted on an angle. The Evo 4 is actually uh, oil filtered downwards, not on an angle like this. And it also does not have any ports for the oil cooler. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a nice day moving forward and stay safe.